Hey guys, good morning. It is a beautiful blue sky. It's a little cool today down here in St. Mary's. And I'm doing a review for a bike um, that was sent to me. It is an electric bike called a Mac Mission 100. Um, I am going to ride this into town. I've, I've assembled it. I put some of the footage of me assembling. I'll probably put it on with this video so you guys can look at that. It took me about 45 minutes to put together. This is what it looks like now that I have gotten it put together. I did that a couple of days ago. Uh, I will say that when I put the battery on here, when you go to try to put this battery on, um, the way that it looks, it looks like it slides straight down on there. I think I've got it, yeah, I've got it locked in place. But anyway, what happens is it looks like you would take it and slide it down like that, but you really have to kind of put it on and then slide it down. Uh, so that was a little tricky, um, but once I figured that out, um, I was good to go. So that's just a little uh, hint if you got one of these bikes and you were uh, running into an issue with that because that took me a couple of minutes to figure out. But the directions were pretty good um, and I was able to get it together without much trouble. So if you are, um, if you're not mechanical, like I'm not really super mechanical, um, I'm not the worst, but I'm not the best, uh, you ought to be able to get this together in about 45 minutes. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride uh, into town. It's about a about a 10 mile ride. Um, and, and the good thing about these, uh, I'll explain a few things while we're going, but um, my wife has an electric bike. We really like it for her. And um, so we had this company reach out to us and ask if we would like to review this. So let's do it. Mac Mission 100. Let's ride. Okay, there is a power button on the battery that you flip and then you hold this display and what happens with these uh, if you're not familiar with them is you you can either just pedal it if i leave it on zero if i if i put my um, setting on zero you can just pedal the bike if that's what you want to do if you just want the exercise if you're just wanting to cruise around then you can set it on like one two three that determines on how fast you're going to go and if you just want to run you can turn this knob and it'll just make you go uh, if you want to pedal it you can pedal and you can pedal very slowly and the battery will propel you at the speed here now this thing will go up to 20 miles an hour so um, you know you need to wear a helmet always when you're riding a bike I've got my helmet on but um, this kind of determines how fast you can go so let's see, uh, let's see how steady and stuff it is and uh, how it rides. Okay, see that was one half a pedal. See how it kind of propelled me forward there? So if I pedal very slowly, it keeps me going at a steady pace. And the thing here tells me how fast, how many miles per hour I'm going when I'm riding. But see, that's just barely pedaling. So, you kind of have the idea there how that works. All right. So, let's ride down the road. Now, like I said, this thing will go up to 20 miles an hour. So that's pretty fast. And then, if I don't want to pedal at all, like I said, I can, I can just turn this, turn this little knob here and it just makes me go to me this is like when you're a kid and you're just you just you know you wouldn't get tired and your legs just go and go and go you know? and you didn't weigh very much and you could just fly down the road and have a good time on your bike go fast you know how fun it was you wanted to go fast well on this thing you can go as fast as you want to go and I like to do the little pedal thing with it. I don't like to do the, I don't like to do the uh, knob as much, but this ride's pretty good. 
Now, if you are, um, you know, if you're wanting to get, you know, say you hadn't exercised in a while and you want to get back into bike riding or, or exercising, you know, the good thing about this is you can put it on, like you could just put it on pedal if you wanted to and, you know, pedal as far away from your house as you want to go. And then uh, if you're tired, you know, you're not in shape, you don't really know how far you can go yet, then you could just uh, use the electricity, the battery power to get you all the way back to the house with no problem. And I'm getting, I'm trying to get used to how fast I need to pedal, you know. Now these things have good brakes. They have to have good brakes because you get to go in pretty fast. I've ridden one of these before, so I'm gonna go right out to the road because I know, you know, kind of how they handle. But if you haven't ridden one, you need to ride around your neighborhood a little bit to kind of get used to, you know, how it slows down, uh, how the brakes work. And these brakes work fine. I've already checked these brakes. Now I'm pedaling pretty steady, but it's not like you have any real pressure while you're pedaling. Uh, it just, you know, you, you basically just, it's a very easy pedal. To me, the way this bike is made is it's kind of, you know, if you're a little younger, um, it would appeal, the looks would appeal to you, in my opinion. Um, but it is very comfortable, like a cruising style kind of bike where you're sitting upright. So to me, this is a very comfortable bike, a very comfortable ride, a position to ride. And of course you can adjust your seat and adjust the handlebars up and down a little bit. Pretty easy to adjust, all the tools came with it. All right guys, one thing I like about this is when I stop pedaling, uh, it decelerates fairly quickly. Uh, because you don't want that thing to like keep propelling you because it's going to be difficult to stop it when you're going fast with these, you know, with the brakes. The other thing that I like, uh, you don't have to pedal super slow. Uh, you can pedal a nice kind of steady pace, you know, and even though it's not, you know, physically demanding to pedal, at least your legs are kind of engaged and you kind of keep, you know, you feel like you're really making this thing go, which is kind of fun. Because you are making it go. It's just not hard to do it. And we have, uh, you know, we have a few bike trails down here where I live in St. Mary's, so I'm on one of the bike trails. Now, like right here, if I want to get started, I can turn that knob and it gets me going pretty quick. If you're not used to riding a bike, sometimes when you have to stop and go like that um, with your pedals, you know, to, to get to get the bike momentum going again, you can get off balance a little bit. Really with this knob over here, um, you just go, you know, so you don't have to worry so much about your balance. I like, I like that, you know, especially like I said, if you're somebody that has some physical issues, uh, you're not as strong, you know, as you used to be, that kind of thing. Or if you're in a, you know, a situation where you need to ride your bike to, to, you know, commute to work or commute to school or something like that. And this really is a means of transportation for you. It's not just a source of exercise. Um, you know, this thing rides well enough that uh, you could get back and forth, you know, make a run to the store or, like I said, right at the school, that kind of thing. The price on this bike, uh, I want to say, is like it's a seven hundred bucks. I'll, I'll get it on the uh, post for you, but I want to say it's seven or eight hundred dollars somewhere in that neighborhood, which is uh, a lot of the electric bikes are thousands of dollars. You know, they, they can be pretty high. So this is more of a, a low cost alternative. As the battery lasts a long time, uh, from what I from what I read on it, it will uh, last for you know for hours. And again, it depends on what kind of uh, riding you're doing. You know, it will uh, last longer in in a 
certain modes. So we've got a nice little town here, so I can easily ride this down without a whole lot of exertion. I'm not gonna be sweaty and tired and stuff, and I can come down here. I could go to the restaurants down here. I could go to the waterfront park that we have right here and enjoy that. I can come watch the boats launch and just have a good time. Spanish moss, the beautiful trees. Okay guys, I am back. So, I rode about 10 miles um, to town and back. Here's another look at the bike. I'll tell you what I like. I like the, I like the looks of the bike. I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool looking bike to me. I like the pedals a lot because the way these pedals are made, your feet do not slip at all. It's uh, a pretty light bike. It probably weighs in the neighborhood of 55 to uh, 60 pounds. So if you wanted to put it in the back of the truck and go ride on a bike trail or something like that, you could do that. It's not heavy. Uh, rides fine, no problems at all. Everything worked uh, the way it should. Uh, like I said, if you want a little more comfort, you want to replace the seat, you can do that. But this seat is cushioned and stuff. So um, if you're not used to riding a bike, you may want to think of another seat. But I think that one's fine to me. And uh, everything else uh, worked really well. The, the brakes worked well. Uh, it was a pretty good, comfortable ride. And uh, like I said, it took me about 45 minutes to assemble. So there you go. The uh, Mac Quill. Mac Mission 100. Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire, guys. I'll have a, uh, some links on the video for information if you're interested in something like that or if you're just interested in electric bikes in general. Okay, here is how it came delivered. It was delivered very quickly says this box weighs 60 pounds so let's see what we got going on here got the bike in here there's the seat I could do at once go through and cut these and there you go Macquill e-bike now let's see if we can find the instructions there you go your manual a few tools in here okay we are going to start we are going to start with step one Just the stem of the handlebar to let it face forward. Of course, I may end up having to adjust that once I get this stuff on here. Screw right there. Okay, step two. Install the handlebar. So you loosen these screws. Unscrew the four bolts from the stem cover with an Allen key. 
All right. We can do that. Okay. Lighter. Uh, oh. Okay. Now I'm trying to kind of eyeball this to make sure it is straight. Install the disc brake on the front wheel. So if that is the case, it goes on this way. Okay. All right, I've got all these snug at this point. Now, you have to put on the front wheel. You have to take off the quick release. You have to take that off. Each side of the wheel has one cone spring only. The disc goes into the brake caliper. it back okay okay so as far as I can see this screws on down here I don't know if y'all can see that and then this piece right here how you tighten it up here all right so wheel is on all right the last step is to charge the battery so we'll go ahead and pump up these tires Right, that wheel is not straight, so I'm going to try to fix that. Let's see what we got going on here. It's probably just a matter of me. Yeah, there you go. Getting it aligned in here right. That's straight. All right, let's charge the battery. And then we'll come out and see what else we need to make happen with it.